Hey, what's up, guys? So, um, tonight, uh, Leaf Green TV <laughs> contacted me, and he was like, "Hey, man, you gotta make this tool for me." And uh, after a while, I caved, so I made it, and uh, it's for Clone Hero. Jesus Christ, <laughs> I haven't played Guitar Hero or Clone Hero in like two years. So, but yeah, so all it does really is it make sure that Clone Hero is running off of the last three physical cores, which are the ones to be least utilized almost always uh, by other programs. So, yeah. This works best if you're a streamer, to be honest, because if you're streaming, you're using OBS or something, and you're recording, so and that utilizes CPU. Even if you're using GPU encoding, it, everything you run on your computer uses your CPU anyway, so... Yeah, I guess... If you're streaming and you want to have a more stable FPS, you can, you should try it. The tool I made is called Clone Hero Booster. Uh, I have the source right here. It's just very simple. Uh, it's using the it's setting the affinity for the uh, for Clone Hero when we launch it, basically. And I made a bunch of profiles, optim like optimized profiles. Me and uh, Leaf and a bunch of Twitch streamers did some testing. Uh, and yeah, I made these profiles from it. So if you want to change something in here and make your own profiles, then go ahead. There's a little tutorial on here on how to do it, basically explaining a bit. Uh, but yeah, all it does is we run the main function, checks if it, we're in the right folder, uh, if we have clone here in there. And then it gets the course, gets how many cores we have from here. And then we, depending on how many cores we have, we set the appropriate um, profile so for the affinity okay and then we launch the game and that's about it so yeah so all you do is you download it and you put clone hero booster in your clone hero folder where the clone hero.exe is and then you just run clone hero from it and that's it yeah. I'd love to <laughs> show you that it works, uh, but I can't really show much because I only have four cores. So if I go in here and I show you, I only have four cores and it doesn't do much at all for a four core CPU, um, sadly. <laughs> so that sucks, but, but yeah, if you wanna make sure, if you wanna, <laughs> ask a couple people if it works. We had a couple people test it tonight. Um, and if you want to ask one person, it's uh, MD Sitton, who is the one of the developers of Clone Hero. Uh, you can ask Frank95CR. You can ask Leaf Green TV. You can ask Lee Holmes. Uh, you can ask Jay Schalke and uh, Bad at Smash Bros. So I'm going to have a link to all of those people uh, in the description, sort of like references. Uh, yeah, I know how, how people are <laughs> about new software from unknown people, I guess. So you never know. But yeah, yeah, pretty cool. <laughs> uh, yeah, as you can see here, Leaf tested it, or some Lee Holmes tested it on his uh, 9900K, and he got 1,500 more FPS. <laughs> so, yeah. Uh, and this dude, he got, uh, I can't remember exactly, but I think he got 500. Let's see. So he was running 800 to 950, he, and he jumped to 1,400 to f 1,500, yeah. Uh, <laughs> so yeah, so yeah, it works, and um, yeah, if you want to donate my, you know, to my PayPal, which I, I will have it in the description, uh, you don't have to, but if you want to, go ahead, <laughs> so yeah, stay safe everyone, and have fun playing Clone Hero, um, if you haven't heard of Clone Hero before, check it out. I'll have a link to the website and stuff in the description as well. Peace, guys.